Good morning, YouTube. It's Mel. I am 16 days post-op from my mommy makeover. My surgery was on August 7th and uh, I had the breast lift and augmentation as well as the full tummy tuck and muscle repair. I wanted to uh, give you an update of how things are going, uh, how things are progressing and how things are slowly progressing. I saw my surgeon yesterday and I got the stitches out around my areolas and um, my um, incisions. The tummy tuck area still has some of the steri strips that haven't come off yet and uh, some of the areas uh, still need to have the tape on there. And so um, instead of waiting until all of that uh, comes off, uh, I will show you part of my scars um, that uh, don't have the tape on there. And then we can see the progression of how those are healing. So I was able to drive myself to the surgeon's office. It seemed like a long day for me, especially since um, I've been uh, with family support uh, up until Tuesday, which that was just a few days ago. Um, so I'm so appreciative uh, for that. Uh, slowly but surely along the way, I've done a little bit more and more, um, not a whole lot, uh, but as far as uh, towards uh, the time when my mom was leaving um, and my daughter was going back to school, I started making my breakfast, um, getting my drinks, um, uh, a lot of walking. I have been without the walker for about four days uh, and my back has been, uh, my back is all better, totally all better. Um, the um, thing I didn't let you know in my last video uh, when I talked to the surgeon, I was curious to see how uh, much skin and how much um, fat was uh, lipoed. And so uh, they took off three and a half pounds of skin and fat um, for my tummy area. And the lipo, they, they got a liter um, of the fat out. And so that's quite a bit. Um, I'm extremely, extremely happy with my results. Uh, things are getting better every day uh, with the breast augmentation the lift and augmentation uh, that is a very slow process uh, and the results sometimes three six sometimes even a year out but um, uh, they have dropped uh, the left one is dropping a little bit faster than the right one and so now that the stitches are out i'm able to do some exercises to help um, get the muscles relaxed in there so that the uh, implants will drop and fluff is what they call it. So I am excited to show you my results. Uh, one of the things too, before I do that, uh, when I was at my surgeon's office yesterday, um, I had had the first drain taken out um, at my, I think it was my second appointment. Uh, my week appointment after surgery. And uh, I knew that I probably wasn't gonna get my left drain out because it was still draining a little bit more than it was kind of like borderline. And um, I expressed that I would rather keep it in uh, and uh, get it down to the drainage level that, uh, that it needs to be versus taking it out prematurely and um, and having to go back in and extract the uh, fluid if there's fluid buildup. So I'm not having any problems with it. Uh, it's just a pain. <laughs> the drain is a pain uh, to deal with. Um, I have my lanyard still around my neck that holds it and uh, I don't have any burning or um, issues uh, at all with that. Uh, the pain medication I am I am off of. Uh, I still take Tylenol for little aches uh, uh, and and 
as such, like yesterday, since yesterday was a, a long day for me, I uh, definitely took a um, couple of Tylenols throughout the day. So let me show you uh, my results. Let's see. So I am not wearing my compression garment right now so that I can show you. Um, I'm in my nice little sports bra here. Um, let me get my drain out of the way. Okay. So um, I got the stitches out of my belly buttons uh, and um, since it was just yesterday, it's a little bit um, irritated and that's totally normal. Um, the scar, the surgeon um, got really, really low. And so you can see this is where the tape still is. Those Steri strips still haven't fallen off yet but um, I do not have a belly anymore. So this, you can see, start seeing the definition of my muscles. Um, it is super tight. I will show you the lipo areas that I said I was having such a hard time with. I'm still quite bruised. Um, and I'm using the Arnica gel on that. <clears throat> this is where my right drain was and um, that's looking pretty good. I had stretch marks um, all the way up to here. So when he pulled um, that um, skin down, all of those stretch marks are now right where the scar is. So it's a very thin line. Everybody says it looks worse on, on um, video versus in person and that is true. And I'll show you it's my drain I have um, this area is from my compression garment and when they did the lipo so what I need to do is um, massage that out so now the surgeon had said that scar that I had um, up here my old hernia scar that he could get it pretty close to down here and by golly he did. So um, I have a freckle that was up here and now it is down here. So I am absolutely amazed. There's my stretch marks that were up here. Those are all down below my belly now. So when I wear, if I was going to wear uh, a bathing suit that was um, really low. Um, I would definitely be able to do that and you wouldn't be able to see the scar. So I am extremely, this is all tight, that's not swelling. Um, I, I really don't have a lot of swelling at this point. I've been using my compression garment. Um, uh, I did measure, I took measurements before I had the surgery of everything. I wanted to see um, uh, at some point when um, those sutures or those um, steri strips come off. Uh, I'm going to do some measuring to see uh, how, how many inches I've lost. Um, right now I am, of course it was four pounds including the um, the leader so it was approximately about four pounds that they took off the implants usually weigh about close to uh, together about a pound pound and a half so um i'm still down like two or three pounds um, <laughs> um uh, prior to me going in definitely the low sodium diet helps um i'm drinking tons of coffee um, that's my 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 um, my sweet treat. Uh, so I, like I said, I'm extremely extremely happy. I um, am taking pictures every day um, to see the uh, the breast augmentation, uh, how that process is going for the dropping and fluffing. So I'm in a sports bra. Uh, I will be in a sports bra 
no underwire uh, for several months until everything is totally healed and back to normal. And then I'll be able to get sized um, for uh, my new bras. Uh, it's a little bit interesting getting used to. Um, the implants I went with was 420 cc's. I uh, am still having a little bit of trouble sleeping in my bed. Uh, I'll start out in bed and then usually about three or four o'clock in the morning, um, I get a little stiff. And so um, I, I'll go out and sit uh, on, in my lift chair and kind of doze a little bit. I'm gonna be returning to work in about six days. So I have six more days to uh, kind of rest, get my stuff together. So it's been nice that I haven't been rushed um, to have recovery to get uh, back in, in the swing of things. So I'm just still taking day by day. I'm doing just a little bit more. Um, and like I said, still uh, doing a lot of relaxing. Um, as soon as the drains, uh, the, the liquid um, gets down, which I think maybe within, I'm hoping within the next three, three days, three to four days, um, that uh, I'll get the drain, the left drain out. So uh, I really don't wanna go to work with that, uh, that other drain. If, if that's the case, then so be it. And I'll deal with that. But I am so excited. I, I, uh, I wanna try on clothes and, and um, the clothes that I am wearing um, in the stomach area, they definitely fit uh, nicely. Um, I'm not wearing any, anything too tight, so it's, it's kind of hard to gauge, but I appreciate you continuing to walk with me. Uh, I will continue to um, show you results and updates as things go along. Uh, I can talk to you at the next video about uh, scar treatment and um, if you have any questions or anything that you want me to go over uh, with what I've gone over um, so far along my journey, please let me know. If you like, subscribe and share and ring the little bell, you'll definitely get uh, notified when I um, upload the next video. So. Thank you so much, and I hope you have a great day, and uh, looking forward to seeing all of you next time.